Thank you, thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, today, uh, we the topic is about the tactics of multicolor dragon. So I think you are very interested in multicolor dragon, right? So today, I hope you can learn this method. Very important, okay? So uh, before our class, let's see the STI index. So we can see the STI. Now, the two days, the price have some rebound, right? Okay, so we can see here. But just now, some days ago, member asked me whether the share is have tuned or not. Maybe the chain will be changed to option. But I still told him, the chain is still in sideways. So let's see how to judge. We know that uh, how to judge the chain is uptrend or downtrend. So we can see the high point, the high, uh, higher high and the lower high. So this is the uptrend. But if you see the lower high and the lower low, this is the downtrend. But if you see maybe the po low point is higher, but high point is lower. So maybe this is the sideways. So we can see here, now the STI index, the high point is, so we see, we see here, the, this is the high point, right? And we can see this is the low point. So we see here, the low point is lower, right? But for short term, the low point is lower and the high point is still lower. lower. So this tells us that for short term, this is still in sideways. But if we can see here, for long term, we can draw the here. The low point, the lower low and the higher high, because this is the low point, low point, low point, and the low point. But we see here, if the price can break out, can hit a new high, maybe the uptrend will be continued. But if the high point is like this, so it tells us that we should prepare to sell out. So this is the current market. Then we can see where is the turning point. Then we can use Fibonacci to judge where is the turning point. Firstly, we can click T, then click Fibonacci. We can draw the line. This is the, pre this is the important low point. And uh, we can draw here. So we move to here. So it tells us that maybe 40 days, 40 day trading, trading days, they have some turning point. But if we also can click here, we also can see where is the turning point. So we should know that. Now we how to judge the support and the resistance, okay? So we can click golden section, then judge where is the support and the resistance, okay? So we, I, we can connect the low point to high point. Then we see support point is almost 3230. Then the resistance point is 3310. So this is the resistance point and the support point. If the price still fluctuation during this period, so it tells us that the share is in sideways, the market is, it is in sideways. Then we know that some shares is still very strong, like activation, right? This share is quite strong, still up. So we see here, this pattern, we can see down, then up, like which pattern? V pattern, right? Down, then up, like V pattern. So we want to know, if you have this share, you should know where is the resistance point, okay? So maybe here is the resistance point. So we see here, the price touch the resistance point, never break out. Touch again, never break out. So whether this point can break out or not, we don't know. But we should remember this point is 0 0.313. So remember this point. If can break out, you still can hold. If cannot, Break out, you should uh, sell, okay? Then we see another share. Last time, I already told you this share, right? Do you remember? After Saturday. Okay, so at this 
at this point, I already told uh, told uh, our members they have some opportunities. But I also know where is the resistance point. So can you tell me where is the sale point? Half of the candlestick. So we can see half of the candlestick maybe 0 0.1, okay? So if the price, if you have the share, you can do for short-term rebound. If you every day you key this price, then if you touch the price, maybe the high price is 0 0.104. So maybe 0 0.1 you can sell for short-term rebound, okay? So we should know the resistance and the, the support because now the market is suitable for short-term investment, okay? So let's continue the course. Tactics of multicolor dragon, okay? So we can see the main contents. Maybe some members learned this before. Maybe some members never learned. So we can review and learn. So we can see the main contents. The first one is the principle of multicolor dragon. The second one is the basic application of multicolor dragon. And the third one is tactics of multicolor dragon. This is the four, the three contents, okay? So first, let's see the first one. The principle of multicolor dragon. According to the principle of space, time, quantity, and the price. So many members want to know why we can know that red color is banker money, then the green color is retail investors. So how we know? Okay, this is based on the space and time and the volume and the space, okay? So it can always show the banker operation, how the banker open position in the low and watch the retail and the run away in the top. So we can use multicolor dragon to judge, okay? So let's see the composition of a multicolor dragon. So we can know that. First, let's see the multicolor dragon, okay? This function is very useful. If you have, you should uh, use it very well, okay? So the, we can see, firstly, they have the three color. Red color, yellow color, and the green color. So what stand, what's it stand for? Okay, the red color stands for the profit trips. Like I was just uh, say the bank money. It stands for the profit trips. The green color stands for the long-term trips. And the yellow color stands for the floating trips. This is the color. Then we also can see they have the tree lights. Okay, they have the tree lights. Let's see some stocks have three lines, okay. So now we can see only one line. So how to set the three lines? Firstly, we can click setting, then click multicolor dragon, click recommend and uh, save, then click okay. So we can see three lines appears. So what's the three lines stand for? Okay, the purple line stands for the 10 days moving average of profit trips. Okay, so if you see, maybe the red color is up, then the purple line will up. Okay, the blue line stands for, not, the blue line stands for the moving average of locked trips, 10 days moving average. And the pink line stands for the 10 day moving average of floating trips. So we should know that. Okay, then we see the three lines. If you see, the red color is more and more, and the purple line is up. And if you see there's no green color, so maybe there you cannot see the green lines. So we should remember. Okay, this is the composition of multicolor dragon. So we can see here, the red color stands for the floating uh, profit chips, and the yellow color stands for the floating chips. Then the red green color stands for the locked chips. So this is the composition. Okay, we see next one. This is the lures of sweating chips. Okay, so maybe we can see the share is like this. Down, then sideways, then up, right? Okay, so we see here. When the price down, further down, 
okay, for a period. So it tells us that maybe the chips, the price is so it's very low, right? So maybe the banker will prepare to collect chips because the chips is very cheap. Okay, then last time I already told you which pattern is suitable for us to judge. So can you, do you remember? Do you still remember? Which pattern is better for us? Okay, which pattern is better for us? The price is down, then sideways. So if the price can break out the sideways area effectively, this pattern is for us to judge. Okay, so we see some shares, the like activation. The price is still down, right? Down, then we see here. Firstly, the low point is here. Then, secondly, the low point is here. So it tells us that, like what? The one bottom confirmed. And uh, if the second bottom confirmed, so it tells us that this is the low point, okay? So like this, maybe here, this is the low point. You buy or not? Maybe like this, here, buy or not? Wait and see, because this is the one low point, okay? Then like this, the price down again, touch this low point. So here, buy or not? No. If like this, yes. buy or not? Yes. Come buy, because the bottom point confirmed, okay? So we see this, this point, down, then sideways, then up. So it tells us that here, maybe have some opportunity. Then we can see some private shares, individual shares, okay? Then we can, every day, we can right click the percentage. Then we can know which share go up sharply, okay? So we can see some shares. Okay, so this share is also sharp up, uh, sharply up. Okay, <coughs> so we see here, we see this share. This share is good or not? Recently, sharp up, right? But why? Okay, we can see the pattern. Still the chain, the down, right? Down, then sideways for a long time. If you see the sideways is long, maybe the opportunity is large. Okay, the space is large. Then we can see here, down, then two sideways. So if another day we can combine, combine to the volume, if can break out the sideways area, it tells us that we have chance to buy. Okay, so we, let's see the, this chart. The price down, Okay, during this period, this is the bottom area, not the point, only the area, okay? Then we see here, this is the top area, right? We cannot know where's the top point, but we know where's the top area, okay? So we see this period, this bottom area. Retail investors usually sell in the bottom, and the banker collect the cheaper chips to open a position. So maybe the price is down, down, down. Maybe the retail investors will sell out their shares, right? Okay, then if the sale, who collect the chips? Who buy the chips? Who buy the shares? Maybe some banker collect the chips because the price is low. Okay, then we see the second phase. Sweeting chips between banker and floating chips to push up the price in the rising process. So maybe when we see the price is up, then you can know that there's no green color, only the red color and the yellow color. Because sweet, they sweeting chips between red color and the yellow color. Okay, so like this. Then we see the next, the second phase. Selling profit chips to the retail investor to run away in the top. So maybe, well, uh, if, well, if we trading the shares, 
Maybe the price, like this down the sideways, we don't know whether the share is opportunity or not. Then the price up, then retail investors focus on the shares because the share is up, right? Okay, then if you see the shares, maybe you think the share have opportunity because up again. So maybe you will buy the share. Then the banker sell out their chips, sell out their shares to the retail investors. So maybe you think like this. If you see the price is up, then sideways. If cannot quit a new high, you should uh, sell out, okay? So this is the lures of sweeting chips, okay? So let's see this one. Maybe sometimes you can see the shares like this. So many red color, and the red color is almost above 75. Maybe during this period, we should prepare to, we should pay attention to the risk. Maybe the price will down again, okay? So during this period, this is the top area. Okay, so let's see some stocks. This share is very strong. I pay attention for a long time. Okay, so we see this share. This share is quite strong, okay? Then we can see here, they have the green color or not? No. No, no because the push up the price then the sweeting chips between red color and the yellow color, right? Okay, so we see here. Okay, so we can see the price down for several days. So here we sell or not. If you see the shares, if you have the shares, so at this point, you sell or not. You should know when to sell, when to buy. You should judge by yourself, not to rely on the masters, okay? So here, sell or not? Okay, firstly, we see here, this is the large candlestick, right? Bullish candlestick. And we can see another day. Another day, the small bearish candlestick. So it tells us that maybe the price will correction. And we can see the volume. The volume is increased or not? Not yet, right? So you know that maybe some banker still inside. And we can see the red color is more than 40, means more than 50. So you sell or not? No need to sell because there's no green color, okay? But you should remember. The price, the red color is above 75, so you should uh, pay attention, okay? Then, if you have the share, you still can hold, but if you see here, during this period, maybe it's the top area, we don't know. But if you see the red color is above 75, maybe you should pay attention, okay? If the price cannot quit a new high, maybe you should uh, prepare to sell for short term, okay? So let's see, this is the top area. And we can see here, this is the bottom area. We can see here, the green color is almost 90, right? And uh, there's no red color, but we can see the green color is decreased, right? The green color decreased, so it tells us that this is the bottom area, okay? So we see some stocks. Okay, let's see this stock. This stock still very strong, okay? So we see this period. So during this period, can buy or not? Okay, we see the green color is almost uh, 100. Okay, so if you see the green color is more than 90, cannot buy, still wait, because the green color is more and more, okay? Then we see this period. We can see the green color is decreased, right? Okay, so it tells us that maybe the banker starts to collect the chips, okay? Because we see here collect the chips so we can pay attention. But can buy or not? 
no steel weight. And we can see here. So the green color is decreased and the red color appears. So it tells us that when the so we should know when the banker will push up the share the price when. Okay. So if you see there's no green color, maybe the banker starts to push the price. Okay. So still have to still have chance. So here, sell or not. Okay, we see maybe this is the top area because the red color is more than 75, the top area. If the price cannot create a new high, maybe you should prepare to sell for short term, okay? If can create a new high, maybe you still can hold. So we should pay attention. So this is the bottom area, okay? Let's see next one. Then you see if the red color profit chips is more than 50, there's no green color. So, okay, here. If you see the red color is more than 50, so it tells us that the banker push up the price. Okay, you still can hold, no need to sell. So let's see some shares. Then you can tell me whether can buy or not. We see Okay. Let's see some shares then we can know whether can buy or cannot. So you can tell me. Okay. So this share, if you don't have can buy or not. So maybe you see this price, this point. So you buy or not? Some members think can buy, some members think cannot. It's very dangerous because high already. Okay, then we see here, the purple line is up or down? Uh, is up or down? Purple line is down, right? And we can see here, the red color. Last time I already told you, if you see the red color, is above the purple line, then you have chance to buy. But now, the purple line is below red color or not? Not yet, we still wait, okay? Then we know, we should know how to judge. So this share, very, very strong, right? So if you have this share, you think very, very happy because we can see why the shares still have opportunity. So, okay, we see here, the, green, the red color above 50, right? So if you have the share, you still can hold, okay? Okay, then we see this price during this phase, okay? Then we see here, the red color is above 75. So during this period, we should prepare, we should uh, pay attention, okay? Then if you see, the purple color is increased again. Maybe we have chance to get in again, okay? Then we see the next one. This is the downtrend period. If you see the green color, so many green color, there's no red color, cannot buy, because this is the downtrend period, okay? Then we see next one. Just now we talked about the principle of the multicolor dragon. The next one, we talked about the basic application of multicolor dragon. Okay, so first, let's see. The profit chips means the red color is more than 25. So it tells us that banker starts to open a position. Okay, so we see this period. We see some stocks. Okay, then we can see the red color is above 25, right? 
it tells us that bank open a position. Then the next one, if we see the profit trips is more than 50, finish the collection. Finish the miss, they will push up. Okay, so we see here. More than 50. So it tells us that finish the, finish the collection, so maybe we are push up the price. Okay, then we see the next one. If we see the profit chips more than 75, they push accurate, accelerate, okay? Then the next one, purple line upward across the profit chips is the buy opportunity. So what's that meaning? If the purple line upward across the red color, we have buy opportunity, so like this. Okay, we see here. Okay, we see this point. The purple color upward the purple color upward the purple line upward across the red color. So here we have buy opportunity. If you see the shares like this, you can buy. Maybe the price is high, but it tells us that we have buy opportunity. So we see here. Then the next one, the purple line downward across the profit chips. So maybe you should remember, they have some words, important words. The first one is upward cross. Next one is golden, golden cross. Next one is breakout. So do you know how to how to that uh, how to judge these two? Maybe you think upward cross, golden cross, breakout is the same. So how to judge? Okay, where what's the upward cross? So maybe you see here the pro, the line moving average line upward cross. This is the price. So here, it tells us that this is the upward class. So what's the golden class? Golden class is like this, two lines. So this is called golden class. Breakout, what's the, what's the breakout? Maybe the price, this is the price. So price create a new high. So this is the breakout. So we should know how to judge these three points, okay? So just now I already told you upward cross, purple line, upward cross the profit chips. Okay, so like this. This is the upward cross, means the purple line is up, okay? This is the buy opportunity. The next one, purple line downward cross the profit chips, sell opportunity. Then the next one, Locked chips appears, banker starts to run away. Okay, if you see the green color appear, you should, uh, if you see the green color appear, so it tells you that maybe the banker starts to run away, you should uh, pay attention. Okay, so we see here. Maybe we will face this situation. The green color appears, right? This green color appears. So maybe it tells us that the banker starts to run away. And another day, the green color disappear, right? Disappear, so why? Then if here you see or not, okay, we can see the red color. If you see the red color is still, still about 50. So you still can hold, no need to sell, okay? Maybe even if you see the green color, no need to sell. Okay, then we see the next one. Locked chips, more than 50, you should, uh, maybe the bank has sold out their chips, okay? So we see here. Okay, so we can see the green color is more than 
50. It tells you that the bankers sold out their chips, so you should uh, sell out, okay? Maybe you sell here, you can, you can avoid some risk. Okay, so let's see next one. Tactics of multicolor dragon. This is the first one, first method. The proud dragon rep represents. <laughs> Do you know what's that meaning? <laughs> okay, so we can see the situation. In the stock market, the price will go down momentarily after rising a period of time or sharp up in short term. So maybe some days ago, maybe uh, you will see the price like this. Then you can see the first one. The price will go down after sharply after sharp up then the price go down okay then things will develop in the opposite direction right so maybe you think the price is up then we are down it's we're down then have some rebound so you should remember this things will develop in the opposite direction when they become extreme, so the price will sharp for a collection easily at the moment. Okay, so maybe you think you find you think that some shares. If the shares up, we see this period. The share up quickly, right? Sharp up, right? Then if the price sharp up, then the price will sharp down. Okay, so. We should remember this. Okay, then we see the next, the, this one. You should remember. Then, the market condition. At the beginning of the market declines and the bankers sold out their chips, the price fall larger than previous. This is the market condition. Okay, we see the profit. We see the multicolor dragon. The profit chips is less than 50. And the purple line starts to go down. And the locked chips is more and more. This is the indicator. Then we can see. OK. So this share no need to care. Because so many share are up already. Then we still can wait. Then if you use this filter method, maybe you use Homely Rainbow, this filter method to filter some shares, you should use Homely Rainbow to judge buy and sell point, okay? You should combine with this. Then we see maybe only two shares, only, or maybe only four shares. Okay, only four. Then you should know. Every day you can try this method. Okay, or you can choose this one. Maybe date original within 20 days. You can change the date. Maybe you can change to 20 days. You also can click filter. Maybe there's more. Because if you choose one day, only four. Then if you choose maybe uh, the days, the long days, the shares will come, the more shares will come out, okay? Then we wait. Then we see the next one, like this. The, this is the correction, right? Then when we see the price, the red color above the purple line again, so here is the buy point. So here is also the buy point because the share is very strong, the uptrend. Okay, we see here. During this phase, still have chance. When we see the purple color like this up again, here we also combine. Okay? Then we see some. We should wait. Okay, so. 
when we wait, we I can to, uh, review this method. So you can you know our philosophy is long term first, short term next, and uh, okay. So we see market first and the share second. Then we see here, click market, then click market uh, chart chart compression. Then we can know that the share is good or not. So I don't know whether you remember last time I taught you. Then we wait. Huh? So we see some shares, then we can know better. First, if we use this method to judge whether our shares is better, is strong or not, we should compare to the STI index. So you should remember the first one. If you see, this is the STI index. STI index is down, then shares is sideways or up. So this is the strong share, right? Okay, then if we see the STI is up, the share is still in sideways. This share in the future is also the strong share. Okay, then the next one. If you see, this is the STI index. So like this, this is the low point, lowest point. And we can see the share like this. The low point appears ahead of the STI index. So this share, we also should pay attention. In the future, the share is very strong. Okay, then I give you some examples. Okay, let's see this share. Okay, we see here. This share is very strange. Huh? Then we see during this phase, <coughs> you see here, the low point we can see here. The low point is higher low, right? This is the individual shares. And we can see the STI index. The low point is Lower high, right? We see here. Can you understand? The low point is lower, but the low point is higher. So it tells us that during this phase, we can pay attention to this share because this during this period, the share is stronger than STI index. So maybe in the future, still have chance. Okay. Then we see another stocks. Okay. So we see here. Then we see the STI index. The STI index is up, right? But the share is in sideways. It tells us that in the future, the share is stronger than STI index. So we should remember this. Okay, then let's see whether the shares come out or not. Okay. It's very low. So maybe uh, when you come back, you can practice by yourself. Okay. Then, then I repeat the future method again. I hope you can understand better. Okay. First, uh, we click technical future. This is the technical future. Then we clear all first. Then we click moving average. Click these two conditions. Then we change to logical filter. Change the original indicator to MCD. Then profit shifts more than and equal to 20. Click add. The next one is profit shifts more than or equal to purple line. Click add. The next one is profit purple line within valid within 20 days. Or you can choose 45 days. It's up to you, okay? <coughs> then 20 days, then we click more than equal to profit chips, click add. 
Then the next one, we change the original indicator to EXPMA again. With valid within one day. Change the parameter to one and uh, 16. Then EXPMA upward cross EXPMA2, click add. So this is the filter method. I hope you can understand, okay? So this is some indicators, this is some methods. Then I give you some example. I can tell you this method is very good. Every day you can click Singapore market. You can see all the Singapore shares. Maybe you don't know which one is good. Okay, click Singapore market first. Then we right click percentage. Right click percentage. Then we double click the shares. Okay, this share we pass. We pass, okay. This share we can pass. This we also down the sideways, but we still pay attention. Okay, then every day we can use this method to find which share have opportunity. Start to shut it up. Okay, we see this share. The pattern is down the two sideways, but now can buy or cannot? Yes. Can buy or cannot? Yes. Can buy. Why? Okay. First one, the pattern is good. Down then two sideways. Maybe during this phase, the banker collect the chips. But we should wait because they share steer in sideways. Never break out this sideways area. But we can pay attention. If can break out, maybe up, but for short term, okay? Then we see next one. This uh, share is, uh, is up already. So every day you can find which share is better for you. Yeah, so I hope you can know this method. So let's review the course. First one, we learn the method. Remember this one. This leg just tell us that this pattern is good for us. And the next one is like this. When we see, this is about the sale point. When we see the, pop, the red color is less than 50, and the purple line is down, the green light is more and more. So here it tells us that the downtrend confirm, we should sell out, we should sell. So maybe you never sell at this point. The next one. When we see the purple line, down, the purple line downward across the pink line is the another sale point. And the downwards, downward across the green line is another, the third sale point. So today we learned about the three sale point. I hope you can understand. Because I think sale point is very important for us. Then, Finally, we learned this future method. Future method, we can find the shares like this. Uptrend, then correction, up again. So this is the future method. I hope you also can learn this one. So do you have any question about today's course? Because so many masters will come out, come to give us the course. So we can, we can see the course arrangement. So this is the master course. Maybe I just just now I saw the the reservation. So if you have the if you know the master come to give the course, you should reserve the seat quickly as soon as possible. Okay, we can see the we see here. We can see the reservation. Maybe there's no seats. Ling Jing will give us the course Tuesday. Tuesday, 7 to 9 p.m. This is the uh, female, uh, female teacher. 
yeah, and uh, we can see the booking maybe no more is no more seats, right? So if you see the master come to give us the course, you should reserve the seat as soon as possible. Okay, so maybe uh, my class is the end. Then I hope you can come to learn our master's class. It's very practical. Okay, so thank you for attending the class. Thank you very much. First condition, okay. Maybe we see another shirt. Okay, we see here. Just now I told you the double bottom. Then we can see here. The price up, then touch this point down again. So maybe this is the top point right the high point then the price up to up then touch this point again so it tells us that the top is confirmed so you should prepare to sell out okay then we see the first condition the profit chips is less than 50 the profit chip is less than 50 so here less than 50 right okay large here less than 50 then the next one the purple line starts to go down the purple line is down we can see the purple line is down right okay the second condition the next one the locked chips is more and more we can see the logical chips the green color is more and more so it tells us that the down trend is confirmed when the purple line downward across the pink line and the green line. Okay. So downward the pink line and the green line. Okay. Maybe there's no downward. Okay, like this. So we see here. This is the 50. Then we can see the red color is less than 50, the first condition. Then the next condition is the purple line is down. And uh, we can see the next one. The purple line downward close the pink line or green line. Downward the pink line. So here is the downward. Downward the pink line and the green line. So it tells us that the downtrend is confirmed. Can you understand? Okay, then we see some shares. Do you have some shares? Okay. He's on holding. We see here. The first one, the red color is less than 50. Less than 50, right? First condition. The next condition, the purple line is down. And the, the third condition, the green color appears and more and more. So we can see here, this is the, the purple line downward cross. We can see this one. It's downward cross the pink line, right? Downward across the pink line. Okay, so it tells us that maybe the downtrend is confirmed. You should prepare to sell. Okay, so we can see downtrend. Then we see here, we see this, pro this point. Then the price down up again. This is the low point, right? And uh, down to this low point again. So this bottom is confirmed. Okay. Then we see next one here. This, this is the 50. When you see the red color is less than 50, this is the downward cross. So during this period, we should sell out. Or here, we also can sell. Because we see here, 
The first cell point is like this. The purple line downward across the pink line. And the second cell point, the purple line downward across the green line. So here we should sell out. Okay, we see next one. This share, this share is sharply down. Okay, so we see here. Firstly, the red color is less than 50, right? And uh, the green color appears. Then we can see here, downward cross. When we see the purple color, downward cross the pink color, the first sale point. So maybe this point, you never sell. The next sale point is the purple light downward uh, the green light. So here we must uh, sell, okay? Because the downtrend is confirmed, okay? So this is the important point. Okay, so we see the summary of tactics. This method is suitable for selling at the end of uptrend, and it also can show that the bank has sold out. The price will go sideways or long-term downtrend. So we should remember this sale point. The price is not always go down for long-term. When the profit chips is less than 50, the long-term downtrend appears easily while the locked chips is more and more, and the downtrend across near 50 position. So just now, we reviewed the first method. The first method, we learned this. We, learned this. we can see here, where is the sale point? When we see the red color is less than 50, and the green color appears and more and more, and we can see the purple line is down, then up, downward across the pink line or green line, we should sell because the downtrend is confirmed. Remember this. So one, if, you, if you attend one class, you can grasp one point for important point is better, is the best. Maybe after the class you forgot anything, okay? So this is the summary, okay? The profit chips is less than 50 and the floating chips increase and the locked chip is little. The big lever collection will not appear even if downward cross. So you should remember. Maybe we can see the profit chips is less than 50 and the locked chips is little and the big, the big level correction will not appear. So maybe sometimes you will see like this. Okay, so we see here. Maybe the red color is less than 50 and the green color is little, right? So maybe during this period, even if the downward cross and there's no big correction, so it is the short-term or medium-term correction. So we can buy again when the profit chips increase. So like this. When we see the pro pro red color increase again, we can buy again, okay? So this is the first method. Do you have any question? If you don't have any question, we can see this one. Tactics of multicolor dragon two. Black dragon belongs to the sea. So we see the stock market is in the bear market. Okay, it's the downtrend. So we see the usage. This method is used to judge the possibility of sharp drop or and identify whether the banker open position falsely or not. So maybe some days ago you will see the red color more than 50. Then next next day, red color disappear. So maybe you will see this situation, right? Okay. So maybe we can know that whether the bank open position firstly or not. Okay. We see next one. The market condition. This phase may be last above one year or more time. Mainly the downtrend and semi the uptrend. So maybe you see here, the downtrend. This is the downtrend. So the downtrend, they also have some rebound, right? And the uptrend also have some correction. And we see here, only the when the drop, we can see, banker will not easily get in during this phase. Only when drop at least 50% or more. So if you see the prices drop more than 50, so 
the bank uh, easily to get in, okay? So the bottom may form after this three phase. So maybe like this. If you see the price is drop for 50%, more than 50%, then sideways, so here, the bank uh, easily to get in, okay? So we see next one, the occasion. At the end of the bull market and the early stage of the bear market, then the purpose, banker collected cheap chips to open a position. So we see some indicate, we see some stocks. So we see here, the first uh, phase, drop quickly. Then the next one, rebound again. Then the second one, falls, falls slowly. The next day, up again. But we can see here, maybe you think the price is down, then rebound, down, then rebound. So maybe you think, still have chance, never sell, because maybe have still, still have chance. Okay, then down, rebound. Then we can see the trend will be, is already changing. Can you understand? Okay, we see, maybe last time, the trend is down in the uptrend, but during this phase, the trend is changing. We can see here, the high point is almost uh, similar, not quite a new high. The low point is lower, right? So it tells us that maybe the share is, in, is changed to the sideways from the uptrend. Then we can see the low point, the lower low and the higher low, uh, the, the, high, the lower high and the lower low. So during this phase, it tells us that this is the downtrend, we should sell. Okay, so down for three steps. You can see this three step, we should sell. The first one, drop sharply. So maybe during this period, you never sell. Here, you sell or not. You will not sell. Because maybe the price will up to the down to 0.3. Okay, then here maybe you never sell. Then down to 0 0.2, you sell or not? You will see, this price is higher than this price, I never sell. So why I should sell at this price? I still keep. Then the price down to 0 0.1, you will sell or not? You never sell, okay? So maybe some people will, will locked, right? Okay. So this one down 87% for 323 days, okay. So we see next one. Most of chips are in the hands of retailers and hot money, and the price fall down with small correction because of switching chips between hot money and retailers. The moving average of profit chips missed the purple line is down to below 50%. The pink line and the green line cross continuously and the profit chips rarely appear and never cross the pink line. So we see this one. The green line cross the, we see here, the green line cross the pink line, right? While the pink line never cross the red line. So pink line cross red line or not? Not yet. So during this phase, it tells us that this is the downtrend. The downtrend will be continued. We cannot buy. We should wait and see and have a rest. Maybe go for traveling, right? So here, we never buy the share. Then we see next one. The pink line cross green line will never cross the purple line. So we see here, the green line and the pink line cross right. This is the cross and the, the purple line is never closed. So here, we also, it's also the sell point. So we should remember this one. This one, do you, do you have any question? This one. Okay, let's review this point. Let's review this one. This method is like this. We can see the green color, the pink color, and the purple color. Then we can see the green color, green line, cross with the pink line, and never cross the red line. So here, 
it tells us that the downtrend will be continued. We should wait and see. Okay, then we see next one. We see some stocks. Okay, we see this share. Okay, so here, if you have the share, hold or not. If you have the share, at this point, you sell or not? Sell. Sell. Because you see the future, the trend is down trend. But uh, during this phase, maybe you will not sell, okay? Because so many red color. Then we see next day, the green color appears. It tells us that some bankers sold out their chips, okay? Then where is the sale point? Okay, we still wait, okay? So we see here, first condition, the red color is less than 50, right? Okay, the next condition, purple line is down. The second condition, green color appears and uh, more and more. So here, sell or not? Sell. sell. Sell, okay. Don't hesitate, you should sell, okay. Sell. Maybe you sell, you think, never the share still in sideways, never go down. I'm wrong? Okay, it's not wrong, it's the correct because the share is in sideways. If you sell, you can avoid some risk. This is the first uh, sale point. And uh, the next uh, sale point is where? Okay, we see here. The purple line, golden cross the pink line. The next uh, sale point is here. Sale or not? Sale, okay. Then the next one. So we see here. The green, the purple color, the purple line, close the green color, green line, sell or not? Sell. sell. Okay, you should sell. If you never sell, you will lose so much. Okay, maybe you think if you sell, then down, up again. So maybe you think I'm wrong, but this is the banker operation. Okay, so here, you sell. But during this phase, here, buy or not? We see here, during this phase, sharp drop, buy or not? If you see the share like this, buy or not? No, okay? Here, buy or not? Maybe you think low point, the low price, maybe I can buy again. But we can see the function. Never buy. Still cannot buy. Okay? But we see during this phase. Still cannot buy. Okay? So when to buy? We see. So the downtrend. Because so many green color. This is the downtrend. Okay? So maybe you think, if we, if, here you buy or not? Buy. <coughs> some members think buy, some said cannot buy. But you see the function, can buy or cannot? Still cannot. Maybe you think, if I never buy, the price is sharply up, so maybe I got wrong point, wrong judgment. But we see here, maybe when will you see the share down? The share down sideways right, and uh, maybe this day you will see the shares because during this phase you can for, you can you can buy the shares or not. You will not buy because you never know the shares. But maybe during this phase you will see the shares because large volume and uh, large bullish candlestick. So if you buy, you will lose money okay so but if you want to buy we still can wait because the pattern is good down then to sideways 
but now we still can wait, okay? So this is the method. I hope you can understand the three sale point. So maybe you can buy at low price, but you never sell, you cannot make profit. So sale point is very important. I, I talked about so many, I talked with so many customers, the members, they said, Maybe they buy the shares like this. This is zero point, maybe zero point two five three five, the low point. Then the price down up to zero seventy five. Earn money or not? Earn money. But if you earn money, you will sell or not? Maybe you think I hope I can earn more. Then you will never sell. Then the price down down to 55, sell or not? No, still hold, because this, this high price I never sell. Why I sell here? We still hold, but here, down to 0 0.25. Then this period you earn money, but you never sell, you will lose money. So sale point is very important. So now if you make some profit, you should know where is the sale point. I hope you can understand. Then this is the method Monte Carlo, about Monte Carlo Dragon. Okay, then we see the filter method. This filter is suitable for which, which function, which method? So okay, maybe we think the price is like this. The price is uptrend. Then the uptrend, the price also will go correction. So we can select the shares like this. This is the filter method. Okay, so how to judge? The first condition we see here, relationship, relation between moving average. This two, we click this two. Why? Because 20 day more than 30 day, more than 60 day, and 60 day more than 120 day, and more than 240 days. So here it tells us that this is the uptrend because the moving average is long. So this is the medium long term uptrend. Okay, this is the first condition. Okay, the next condition is here. Change the original indicator to multicolor dragon. Okay, then we click profit chips more than and equal to 20. More than and equal to 20. So what's that mean? Maybe we can see this is the uptrend. Then the, correct, the price go correction, the red color will decrease. Okay, so the red color is more than 20. This is the second condition. The next condition is like this. The profit chips more than and equal to purple line. <coughs> more than and equal to purple line. So it means that the purple, the red color is more above the purple line. Can you understand? Oh no, okay, we see here. Profit chips more than and equal to purple line. Why I should choose this? So we see here. We see this share. Last time I already talked about this share. Okay, we see here. The purple color, the purple line is above the red color. It means that the price is correction now. Can you understand? Okay, so we see this one. This is the uptrend right. Okay, then we can see the first condition, media term, media long term uptrend. The second condition we can see here. This is the purple line, the red color. The purple line is above the red color. Okay, we see this one. The purple color more than and equal to purple line. Okay. The purple color more than and equal to purple line. So like this. This is the correction then up again. 
Okay. Then we see next one. The profit chips is the purple line more than and equal to profit chips. This is some applicative, but we can see. So can you see where what's the difference? Because the first one is profit chips more than or equal to purple line. Next one is purple line more than or equal to profit chips. Maybe you think it's not reason, reason, uh, reasonable. So can you see what's the difference? Okay, we see here the days is different. The first one is within one day. The next one within 20 days. So can you know why I choose this condition? Okay, one day, the profit chips more than and equal to purple line. One day. Maybe like this. Here, one day is today, right? One day, the purple line above the, the red color above the purple line. This one you can understand, right? Okay, the next one. The 20 days, the purple line more than and equal to red color. So, what's that mean? Okay, this is the one day. The 20 days means during these 20 days, the purple line is above the Red, red color is the correction. Can you understand? I repeat again. I hope you can understand better. Okay. So first one, the the second, the first condition is one day. The purple color above the purple line. The red color above the purple line. The one day. Okay. Maybe this point. And. Uh, why I choose the next one is 20 days, the red color below purple line, because this is the correction. Okay, first the 20 days, the purple line above the red color means correction, then up again, here is the buy point. Can you understand? Okay, so this is the condition. And the next one, the last one, EXPMA, upward cross EXPMA2. So what's the EXPMA meaning? Okay, we click indicator, we change to EXPMA. Then we can know they have the two lines, right? Two lines. So two lines, the golden cross means still have chance. It's the confirm, okay? It can help us to confirm. So okay, we see this one. Can you understand these conditions? I already taught you what the condition stands for. I hope you can understand better, okay? Do you have any question? If you don't have any question, maybe we can practice. Okay, so let's, re let's return back to the software and practice this method, okay? The first one, you should tell me, technical future, clear or first? Do you, so can you tell me what's the first condition? The first condition is these two. 20 day moving average, more than 30 day moving average, more than 60 day moving average, and 60 day moving average, more than 120, more than 240. So why I choose these two? Because 240 moving average is for yearly like for long term. This is for 60 days moving average means for the medium term. So it tells us that the medium term, medium long term up is the uptrend. Okay, so this is the first condition. Next one, we click logical filter. Then change the original indicator to MCD. Okay, click to MCD. No need to change the parameter. The parameter is 10, 10, 10. Okay, 10 days. First one, within one, valid within one day. And the profit chips, first condition, profit chips 
more than and equal to 20. Then click the value, click the 20. Then we click add. Okay, first one. Then the second one, also within one day. Profit chips. Can you remember? More than and equal to purple line. Okay, the second condition. Click add. Then the next one. We I click two. One. I delete one. Okay, profit chips more than equal to purple line one day. Then next condition. Within twenty days. Okay, then profit purple line more than and equal to profit chips. Click add. This is the condition about MCD. Then the last one. We change the original indicator to EXPMA. Okay, EXPMA. We should change the parameter. Do you remember the parameter? It's one six one sixty. Okay. We change the parameter to one and uh, sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Then we valid within. Remember this. Valid within. Within one day. Okay. Then change this one to one day. And the EXPMA more upward across the EXPMA too. Click add. Okay. We finish it. Then we click filter. Whether we see there are some few uh, shares come out or not. Maybe some members don't. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then we see the first one. This one, whether can buy or not, this share is very strong. Medium, long term uptrend. Okay. But uh, the volume. It's not good. This year no need to care because the candlestick is not good. Then we see next one. Two. So many members don't know where, what, which filter method is better for us. Maybe Homely Rainbow, Red, red White, White Circle, and the Magic Color Dragon, and Moving Average. So many filter methods. So which one is the best? We don't know. Then we should practice which one is the best.